Tremaine Edmonds was a topic on Twitter today. Because every mm -hmm. day, people on Bill's Mafia just like to argue about something uh, on Twitter. Uh, it seems like it's been very hostile the last few weeks. That's the truth. Uh, but uh, today was Tremaine Edmonds, and they're, they're talking about his fifth-year option. And honestly, it's batshit crazy to me, anyone who doesn't want to pick up Tremaine Edmonds' fifth-year option. Like, someone – like – a couple of people tweeted and, and mentioned on social media, like, Hey, the dude's been to two pro bowls, racked up triple digit tackles. He's still younger than like most of the draft prospects in this year's draft. And then there was your negative Nancy's the sports meathead one Oh one on Twitter or whatever their names are. The people like that, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah. They're like, Oh, well, have you seen him tackle in the open field? It's like, dude. Okay. We get it. Tremaine Evans can be a better football player. We understand that. And yes, we're using the fact that he's 22 years old as an excuse yes, to uh, maybe cover up some of his things, but it's called development, dude. Like mm -hmm. you're picking up his $12 million option. You traded up for him. You invested a first round pick in him. All of these, yep. all these things, like you're picking up that $12 million. You're not even thinking about it. If you're the Buffalo bills. So why are people on Twitter debating? Oh, I can't believe we're going to pick up this option. Oh, he's not worth the money. We should trade him. Oh, we should draft Zayvon Collins to replace him and move him to defensive. Like stop. Stop. Give him two more years. Like, at least wait till he's 25 before you call him a bust. Mm -hmm. People are out here acting like he's Zay Jones. Look, and a break. The Buffalo and, Bills. And, what? The yeah. fifth year, the, the fifth year option. It's like you're not giving him a contract extension. You're just giving him another year. And yes, yeah. while you're paying him premium, I think it was what 12, it's like 12 point something million, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. For the for the fifth year option, you are not again. It like if you really are that concerned, it's not like you're giving him a contract extension at that point. You're just basically giving him another year, and then you can make that decision if you want to wait. But you certainly pick up that option. I don't know why. I don't know why it's a debate. To be honest with you, like you said, you you made all the points. First round pick, guy's been to two Pro Bowls. He's not turning twenty three until May of this year. Um, he's younger than some of the guys already coming out of the draft this year. I think someone mentioned he's he's younger than Chaz Surratt and a few others mm -hmm. already. Um, and he also was playing through an injury in the early parts of 2020 season. And mm -hmm. it seemed to me, at least by watching, kind of rewatching some of the games, that he did get better and he did have a little bit more pop later in the year. So I'm willing to give the guy the benefit of the doubt. And there is no doubt in my mind, I'm picking up this option. Like it's not mm -hmm. even a question for me. Yeah. And, and I think it was either Pierre or Rico tweeted too. Like the, Oh, what if the Buffalo bills draft is Avon Collins. In my opinion, if the Buffalo bills draft is Avon Collins, it's not to try to replace Tremaine Edmonds or because they think Tremaine Edmonds stinks. It's because they're, they want to go back to some more base formations and play with three linebackers. And they mm -hmm. want a guy like Zayvon Collins to fill that zone role. Do you also AJ Klein could be gone? AJ yeah. Klein can be gone in that situation. <laughs> you also had your bets with Tremaine Edmonds too. Like, hey, you give Tremaine those two years and he doesn't work out. Okay, we can shift Zaven over and see how Zaven does. Yes, you are hedging your bets a little bit, but it's not like, oh, we drafted Zaven Collins. Bye bye, Tremaine. Once his contract is up, he's gone. Or right. we should look to trade Tremaine Edmonds now before his contract is up when he's got value. Like all these things. Like. No, like if we draft Zayvon, I think the Tremaine Edmonds conversation is going to be completely, completely insufferable. And, and truth to hearts is right. He's not, he's not in his prime yet. Like, you know, I, I hate to use the hockey analogy, but people jump all over guys like Rasmus Dahlin all the time. It's like, dude's 19 years old playing with a bunch of grown, grown men. Like at least wait till he's 25 years old before you judge the guy. Like, um, so, you know, wait for these looks, guys, like give him his five years. Yeah. And you know, people, 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 people give him his five years. Yeah. People in the comments uh, tend to agree with us, and mm -hmm. I, I like that. Um, I played with one real shoulder, John says, one real one tech, no real one tech. Took on guards all year, second level, evaluate Tremaine after this year. Quality young man, head on straight. No no doubt about that, too. You also have to remember that as well. Um, mm -hmm. I also think that when he's right, he has shown flashes of being a dominant player, uh, and at this young of an age, if you see those flashes, you are going to, you're not going to give up on that this eat this early. No one's going to give up on a first round 22 year old star in the making two time pro bowl middle linebacker in the right mind. No one in the right mind is going to do that.